This is the Galaxy S4 and in this video we'll update it to the Android version 4.3 via the official firmware update that I got over the air. So this is my Galaxy S4 and I just got the software update today and as you can see that we have that icon and it says that we have a software update and before that let's look at the current android version that this galaxy s4 has and this model is specifically the octocore model that's the uh, i9 500 and this is the build number so let's quickly just update it i got this update over the air today's date is 21st october and i'm in india and let's hit the software update and as you can see that it clearly says that it'll upgrade our android version to 4.3 and it added the Knox feature and uh, it adds the compatibility with the galaxy gear and it improves the graphic and bluetooth abilities and i also heard that it uh, fixes some of the lag issues that are uh, on the galaxy s4 so as you can see it cautions us and let's hit the install and it says that our device will be rebooted and it's rebooting. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 already comes with this 4.3 update. Now we are finally getting it for the Galaxy S4. Again, as I mentioned, this is the Octocore model. Um, if you can also update it via the Kai's software, but if you try to do that, uh, it will download the entire ROM and that's a little bit big. I think so it's around 1.3 GB or so in size. As I said earlier, I got this update via OTA, that is over the air. And it's going to install the update and again it's going to reboot our device. So I'll just skip the screens now. Again, before you do this update, uh, make sure your battery is fully charged or if it's not that much charged, uh, make sure that you're plugged into a power source. Because this update can take quite a bit of time. I hope this update fixes some of the issues uh, that most of the users are complaining and I also experienced it. Uh, the Galaxy S4 still heats up a little bit outdoors, especially if you're using uh, it on the 3G connection. And also, uh, while heavily using the phone, uh, there is some lag in the UI. I hope that this 4.3 update uh, fixes those issues on the Galaxy S4. And it's been almost 5 minutes now, it's a big update. Now it's speed seven and a half minutes and uh, looks like it's done now and uh, it'll reboot the device now. And as you can see it's rebooting our S4. And now the standard process of uh, optimizing the apps will go on. And that can also take a couple of minutes based on the number of apps that you have installed on your Galaxy S4. Again, the first boot after this update will take a long time, so don't worry, it's normal. And as you can see, the process of optimizing the apps for the new Android version is going on. And uh, it's going to start our device now. As you can see it's done and let's now unlock our device and let's look at the Android version and as you can see it's been updated to Android version 4.3 that is Jelly Bean. And let me get out of that one and let's again just check finally if we have any uh, update and it says the device is successfully updated. I doubt there'll be another update, but let's check. So this is the update for the Samsung Galaxy S4. This is the 4.3 update. And it changed the icon for the Samsung app. I still notice a little bit of uh, lag. It's not as smooth as the Note 3, but I need to test this a lot more. And again, if you have also got this 4.3 update on your Samsung Galaxy S4, do let me know in the comments uh, what changes uh, you have seen. For example, we see this Knox that is added. 
so I need to test this a lot more so again do let me know if you have got this 4.3 update on your Samsung Galaxy S4 and if you have noticed any changes and did it solve the issue of uh, heating over 3G so thank you for watching this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video